Welcome back to Done With Depression. Today we are doing chapter two of the new book series, The Voice of Knowledge by Don Miguel Ruiz, who is the author of The Four Agreements. So if you guys haven't seen my Four Agreements um, chapter breakdown, you can check out the playlist for that up here. And I'm also gonna have a playlist going for this book as well. So we're on chapter two. If you haven't seen chapter one, that's in there as well. And let's start the breakdown. So chapter two starts off with uh, the author talking to his grandfather, who is an elder in the community and is seen as being very wise. And he wants to impress his grandfather with his knowledge um, about human suffering and the injustices in the world. And so he goes on the spiel about all this stuff that's going on and his grandfather just quietly listens and then gives the author um, his knowledge that he has gathered from his time. So it starts off with saying that human conflict is not necessarily between good and evil, but between truth and lies. So if we think about the four agreements, we have the lies of the agreements that we accept and we try and get rid of the bad agreements that we have and create new truthful positive agreements. Um, truth creates goodness, love, happiness and lies create injustice and suffering. And it goes on to explain how there's not this conflict with other animals and plants and there's only this eternal in, internal conflict um, within the human mind and it's because we accept these lies and then once we accept these lies we believe them and they become our truth so the first lie that we accept is that we are not so um, we're not good enough we're not perfect we should be this and that's one of the biggest lies because we are already starting ourselves off as being not perfect. So from like a biblical perspective, you can say that um, humans were created in God's image and that they're created perfectly and then there's sin and all of that other stuff. But here it's saying that all beings are perfect. Animals are perfect, plants are perfect, people are perfect, but we accept not being perfect and searching for perfection is the big lie. So if we're not perfect, we're always searching externally for perfection, but because we haven't accepted that we are perfectly created, that we're never gonna find the perfection, which leads to suffering and injustice and in turn creates more lies. If we believe our own lies, they become our truth in our story. And we invest in our own lies um, and only know what we are not. So there's this conflict going within ourselves that we don't actually know who we are, but we know who we are not. So we create these schemas and these fake versions of ourselves. And then ultimately we know that we are not those things, but we still, lack the truth and some of the knowledge to know what we actually are as ourselves because we have so much self-rejection. After that it um, goes into we are what we believe which is often lies and we can only experience our own truth and we're not able to describe our truth to others. So we accept all these lies but if we find our truth within us we can only experience it as ourself because as soon as we try and describe it, it becomes a perception of what we experienced and the perception is altered by other past experiences that we've had. So if I experience my truth and try and explain it to a friend, it's gonna be altered by my other experiences I've had and then it won't be that person's truth because it's gone through a filter. Um, all humans create their own story with their own unique point of view. So like I just said with the filter, we are all creating our own story. Um, a lot of times it's a story of lies 
and then when we finally find our own truth we can't give our truth to anyone else because we all have our unique story so chapter two is pretty short um it was only maybe like seven or eight pages but make sure to check back next time for chapter three and i'll see you guys soon